Good morning to you on this Saturday morning. Today we're going to finish 1 John chapter 4, so we read from verse 19. We love because he first loved us. If someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For the one who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God who he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him, that the one who loves God should love his brother also. So John finishes off this chapter reminding us that loving God involves loving our brother. If we don't love our fellow man, then we can't say that we love God. We haven't seen God, but we do see our fellow man. And if we can't even love our fellow man, how can we love the God who we cannot see? The two are totally intertwined. Remember, he reminds us that this is and this commandment we have from him. I've told you many times, I'm going to tell you many more times in the future, love is not an option. Love is a commandment. We are to love. Full stop. We are to love. Exclamation mark. It's a commandment. It's a commandment. It's not an option. You can't choose who you're going to love and who you're not going to love. We need to love all people the same as Jesus did. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Jesus died for all. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, so that whosoever believes on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Our duty, our commandment is to love. It's not always easy, but if we say we love God, then we have to do it. Remember the cross. The cross has two beams. Without the two beams in place, it's no longer a cross. We have the vertical beam, First part of the great commandment, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind. The cross beam, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. If one or the other is missing, we no longer have a cross. We no longer have the Christian faith. The two go together. You cannot separate your love for God, your love for your fellow man. The two go totally together. Both are a commandment. If we say we love God, we do not love our fellow man, then our love for God is not true. It's not genuine. That's what we need to work on. Now, I know it's not easy, but God has given us the Holy Spirit who abides in our heart, who helps us to love with the love of Jesus. So we need to empty ourselves of all of those negative thoughts, of all of the wrong thoughts. We need to forgive. We need to love. We need to ask God to help us so that Jesus would love through us. Less of us, more of him. John the Baptist said, I must decrease that he may increase. Love is a commandment. We love because he first loved us. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we so thank you for your love. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Amazing love. Amazing God, you are truly amazing. And we thank you, Lord, for the love that you have lavished upon us, that you've poured out upon us. We didn't deserve it. We deserve punishment. We deserve eternal death for our sins. But in that place, you gave us Jesus, who took our punishment, who shed his blood, paid our sin debt in full. And now we can look forward to eternal life with you in heaven. Hallelujah. We bless you, praise and thank you. I pray for the soul that doesn't know that yet. Lord, that you would open their hearts today, that they would... Just feel your tremendous love and come to know and understand how much you love each and every person. That you, Lord Jesus, bled and died for every single person so that everybody could be part of your kingdom. We pray that those who have not yet called upon your name would do so today. Lord, every day as we look at the news, our hearts ache as we see the terrible destruction, the death, the war in the Ukraine. Lord, have mercy. We pray that you would take the enemy, Lord, that you would just grind him to the ground, send him back home, thwart his plans, stop him, Lord, stop him from, from destroying people and destroying property and destroying a nation. Lord, have mercy. We pray for our politicians. We pray, Lord, that you would give them just the, the sense to do what is right, that you would just encourage them and strengthen them, give them wisdom and discernment. Give us wisdom and discernment. There's so much fake news and false news flying around so that we may know the truth and the truth can set us free. We pray, Lord, for those who are suffering. We pray for those who are sick. As this virus is again spreading in our communities, Lord, we pray, Lord, have mercy. We just commit all to you. We offer ourselves to you and you today as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to you. That is our reasonable service. We must decrease, Lord, that you may increase 
Holy Spirit, flow through us, touch through us, love through us. May our love, Lord, be as your love. We love because you first loved us. There's so many things we'd like to say, but we're just going to combine them right now, Lord, in the prayer that you gave to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you for tomorrow's sermon. Have a great day.